ancient Chinese toy drinking bird. It actually stumped Einstein. It took me three months to figure it out. Why can this bird keep drinking water? And all this, let's start with the mysterious bird head. The outside of the bird's head is a layer of absorbent textile. There is a glass bubble inside, smaller than the glass bubble in a bird's belly. When the bird drinks water, the water above the bubble begins to evaporate and absorb heat, causes vesicle temperature to decrease. The air pressure also decreases. At this time, since the air pressure of large bubbles is greater than the air pressure of small bubbles, the liquid in the big bubble will be affected by the difference in air pressure. Go up the pipe. While the liquid rises, the center of gravity will also rise accordingly. After the center of gravity rises to a certain level, the bird will lower its head to drink water. But after the bird drinks the water, why didn't he fall down? Still standing up. This is because when the bird lowers its head to drink water, the two glass bubbles are connected. The liquid in the pipe will flow back. The center of gravity will also decrease. The little bird stood up. Due to the effect of inertia, the bird will sway for a while. When it stands up, in the process of shaking, the water absorbed by the bird's head begins to evaporate and absorb heat again. The cycle continues like this. Water drinking birds will keep drinking water. But is this thing a perpetual motion machine? To figure this out, you need to know the energy source of the water drinking bird. Let's talk about the bird head first. When the bird's head touches the water and evaporates, absorb the heat of the vesicles. So the vesicles are exothermic. Let's talk about the big bubble at the bottom. When the glass bubbles are connected, the originally high temperature bubble was forced to cool down, can only absorb heat from the surrounding environment to return to the previous temperature. That is to say, vesicles release heat, large bubbles absorb heat, but the heat absorbed by the large bubbles, significantly higher than the heat released by the vesicles. The extra energy, it was used it to work. What work did you do? It's the work of making the liquid rise and the bird lower its head. So, drinking bird fully complies with the law of conservation of energy. Energy conversion and transfer are happening all the time. It is not a perpetual motion machine. Follow me. Increase knowledge together.